Hello and welcome to the Flooring Models Friday Roundup Show. Here we are with you on the 12th of April 2024. Really good week this week, really busy week uh, going through. As you said, we did everything from gutting and doing the studio, which looks really good, and the knock-on effect the members had from some of that. Hope you got some bargains. Uh, been pushing on a lot, obviously, with uh, the Y-Wing, as you can see here, looking very much the part, really starting to come to life now. And I think by next week, it'll be totally finished. So uh, really happy of how that one's coming along. And then, as I said, we've had some great reviews up this week as well. So again, Matt's done a review for you, and I've done a review for you of here on the new Marauder that's come out by ICM. So this week has absolutely been chock-a-block with everything that's going on. Anyway, it all started on Monday. Uh, I started over the weekend and then I continued it on Monday and we did, as you can see, our very tidy up <laughs> of the uh, the studio and going through and obviously it's a, a bit of a walk around of everything that was going on and how messy things are and how I was breaking stuff literally all the rest of it and you can see it was just a complete mess and yeah not very nice right the way through so anyway we took the ball by the horns and we decided that literally we're going to go through here and we're going to start clearing up and going through the the motions of sorting everything out as you can see we started to make a bit of progress we can see a bit of bench for the first time uh and all these areas and then again we were well, i'll just get this in the right position there we go you can have a bit of a pan round here we started to get really on top of it uh so we got most of all the big stuff out of the way all the built kits that were boxed up ready to go we've got a dedicated area now for the 3d printer and all these things and literally we were just going in amongst it all right the way through and again you can see a little bit more down in here starting to come through we even managed to get a hoover in there and tidy up we did go through all the drawers as well which you would have seen down on there and other bits and pieces uh and again the usual stuff we had some hidden sanders that we managed to find as well so who knew and just generally gutting everything good clean threw away all the broken and you know knackered stuff and stuff like that had a rejig behind me so i've got the uh, band sander in there as well the belt sander as well as obviously the uh, pillar drill we've removed the scroll score secondary tools are now out of the way so they're back in the drawers or they're behind me as you can see down in there and again we were looking through obviously all my drawers and various bits and pieces and all the stuff as we were going through and i've even tidied up a little bit more since that as well and then yes to our amazement through this entire tidy and you'd think you know i would know 150 packs of sanders i found sadly everyone they have sold out they've all gone there now but uh anyway it was good but now we have a very nice clean tidy studio that i can now actually swing the cat round if i owned one uh, as well so anyway that was down in there and again big thank you to everybody who said uh, shout out some various things on there because now it really is nice and again if i pan the camera out i can prove after one week it still looks it so we are clean as you can see you've got the stuff behind me i've even did the filters we did this area even though i've been using it all week because we've been working on this but it's really nice to have some space now to breathe and stuff like that just to point out everybody who's bought kits uh, from me because again I sold off a load of the stash I'll do the second batch of that next week for members uh, they've all gone out everybody who's bought a stuff kits were up to date as of 12 o'clock today they all went out with the post all right so you should get your kits probably it's going to be Monday now because it's on a 48 hour courier with those ones but big thank you to everybody who bought anything and a big thank you for everybody who cleaned me out of sanders 150 packs of sanders gone in the matter of a couple of hours so uh, thank you for that one but I didn't even know they were in a box under here just I thought it was something else turns out no but anyway i will put up some more of the stash as you know for members in the members exclusive area you'll know for a fact that obviously i've gone through and i've tidied it away and everything so and removed all the old ones there so members pop along to the members exclusive area that's where you look for all the stuff that's just for you so again i gave well, as you say probably a hundred quid off one of my kits one of my most expensive kits it went for but as i say i'd rather it goes to good homes shall we say than just out to ebay and stuff like that so anyway there's that one anyway back on track so tuesday me and Matt, so obviously we were talking about you know a lot of things that we've been up to, what we've been doing. Matt went to the Yeovil show at the weekend and uh, he was talking about that particular one. I was talking obviously about the studio being cleaned uh, and all the other ones. And we were just covering all the topics of the day. Obviously we we're talking about the various stuff that's going on. I was talking about obviously masking up and doing work on the actual Y-Wing and obviously all the different bits and pieces and some of the reviews that Matt's got coming up near you soon, like uh, obviously the uh, classic A20. This is the NPM kit. 
as well and all the other gossip and news and bits and pieces down in there it is free to watch anyone can go off and see this one so you can catch up with that and then obviously matt's got down in here the c37 of which he did the review of as well that is up to watch as well and he's done a review of this particular kit and you can see all the little bits you get with it as well and he's done a full thing through the instructions taking you right the way through it and then obviously looking at the plastic and so the review is up there to watch now so if you want to see the review on this particular kit nice old classic then you can catch up with that one as well right now it is up on the site and you can get into it just down on there then we had a series of my vlogs obviously was going through i was talking about the color call outs and my choices for doing green I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but actually I really, really like it. So uh, it's worked for me. And now I want to do a green squadron of everything. So, uh, but yes, yeah, so anyway, you can see a nice, cleanly painted, freshly done uh, Y wing down in there. Then obviously you've seen now it's uh, a little bit more grubby than that. All right, so that's down in there. Also, members got to the first preview look of the actual review for the uh, B26 from ICM. Again, we'll, we can look at that in a moment properly down in there. So anyway, the B26 review is up. You can go off and see that one now. And again, I can talk you through about why well, you don't need the first four months of a calendar and why have they got it with 2024 on it? Get rid of that and it would have made a good poster but uh, anyway uh, usual thing it's a great kit it's a simple kit it goes together really well it's good solid build all the way through and again like I always say with all of the ICM kits they're great because they're fantastic as a curbside model so if you just want to have it as a curbside model you can do or if you want to add some bits and pieces a little bit of aftermarket perhaps you know a little bit of weighted wheels would be nice perhaps a new instrument panel some harnesses things like that liven it up some guns absolutely or you could go to town completely and then obviously go right in there re-rivet it wiring you name it and go to the town with it and that's why i like icm kits because it starts you off basic and it leads you into the other things instead of it being the other way we've got everything in there that you're never going to see or you know and probably not going to use but you've had to buy it so again it keeps the prices down one of the highlights for me honestly is these clear parts i am blown away how clear the clear parts are this section down in here for the the rear upper turret is absolutely phenomenal considering it's a dome it is so clear and so sharp it's beautiful so the clear parts are absolutely beautiful on that kit so again what's not to love it is a fantastic kit it's the long awaited cigar uh, obviously the b26 marauder it is what we was hoping for as i say i'm going to build it probably before christmas and uh, really looking forward to it as well so it should be a lot of fun and obviously aftermarket hopefully we get some mast sets down the line a little bit of weighted wheels some gun barrels things like that for it and i think we'd be good to go on that particular kit because it really does look very very nice indeed so anyway you can go off and see that one is available to watch right now then on thursday i can't really show a lot of this to be honest because it's all stuff that is for members only but we're talking about obviously selling off uh, my stash uh, clearing a bit of room just stuff i'm never going to get around to building and things like that and all the bits and pieces that were going on that day all right so if you want to catch up for that one members you can do right there and that gets us bang up to date to today of actually part four of the actual y-wing so again down in here we were looking at the rudder set assembly on the back one of the points with this one i thought my 3d printing didn't come out exactly brilliant so what i elected to do is replace it with styrene strut triangle so this is four mil triangles and it just worked beautifully so we cut them to size got them all in got it all primed up and then we could go into the paint stage obviously we were talking about it and i know before i get hundreds of emails you can go off and buy starship colors and all the rest of it but let's face it it's quite easy to make it so you can either do the white and a tiny little bit of gray technique or you can do it as i do it to give it that aged look it's a little bit of buff or a little bit of deck tan in there a little bit of white a little bit of gray and you can actually get something looking very very nice indeed as you can see in front of you so there we go with all the white coat on there and all the rest of it we could let that dry have a good look at it and then we could turn our attention on to doing the markings again it's 3d printed so it is all recessed panel lines but sometimes they can be a little bit shallow a little bit faded so by using a ballpoint pen they're easy to follow so you can just track them around put them in and then we came back and we cut them in there with a knife and that gave us obviously all the camo patterns after long long debate and i really wanted to do green i've known green for a while and i just thought it's something a little bit different so we decided yep we're going to go with it so i went with standard flat green tamia you know no airs and creases to it it's just tamia xf5 uh down in there right the way through and then we did a little bit of xf18 for that sort of emblazoned sort of stripe that they have down the side of them so we've done that one as well all right so that gets it on very nicely and as you can see it gets you to around about here 
and I think she's looking very, very nice. It's still a little bit wet. The oils have only been on this couple of hours and say they're gonna take a little while for this all to go off. Got tons of work still to go on here, so we need to get the dry brushing done onto this one. A little bit of metallic scrap onto it. Then we gotta do all the pipe work and everything else, but hopefully you can see now the details are really, really starting to pop on this one now, and it's starting to come alive. So uh, I think it's great. We've got various things we're gonna do on this one still to come, but again, I'm gonna give this one probably a good three, four days to dry and go off before we come back at it, just so these oils have got time to dry in. Then we can come through with chipping and blast the mark, a little bit of post shading, and as I said, lots of dry brushing, more weathering to go on this one, just like that. But actually, I think it's looking really good. And again, my first proper full model scale i've done lots of replica props uh done you know uh, resin cast and 3d printed but i've never done a model of one before and this one's turned out an absolute blinder so having a lot of fun with this one i will be working over the weekend so i'm going to be turning my attention back to going back to the apache so the next part of the apache because i haven't done it yet will be up for you on monday i'm going to work over the weekend the other half's working so i'm going to work and then obviously you get the next part of the apache up and as i said i'm going to let this one dry off can make turn my attention I'm on the Apache I want to get it all completely built so we're ready for primer before we come back to this one but then hopefully by next week this one will be finished off and then we'll be looking for our next big project which will be starting probably the week after as well so with that one out of the way then we can turn our attention on to painting and doing the actual Apache so we can start on another great build as well so yeah it's all going very very well so a very productive week this week uh, other things going on obviously over on the PM store I don't knock this thing flying. All right, so they've got the sale section is back and it's been updated. So we've got the walrus down in there as well. So good saving on the walrus. Uh, there's that B26, so there's still some available. You might remember uh, for over Easter, I built this particular kit, so we've got some in. And again, £15.50, seriously, that's just ridiculous money. Honestly, just go off and buy one. Go and get two, go and get the single seat as well. So, uh, but again, they're not straightforward kits. If you saw my build uh, live over Easter, you'll know I had to do a few little things to it. But at the end of the day, for that type of money, what you have got in there is a really nice recessed detail kit, no problem at all. You've got a lovely bit of photo etch, color photo etch for the instrument panel and obviously harnesses and everything inside. And you've got all the aerials and that is all by photo etch. And it comes with a mask set and it's only £15.50. So that's one of those ones is a complete no brainer. If you're into 70 second scale or you just love lightnings in general, just go and buy both because for 31 quid, it's a bargain. All right, some nice stuff. Also, we've got some great kits down in there as well. So we've got the 48 scale Crusader from Hasegawa, really nice classic heavy bombers. We were saying about the uh, Sterling Mark III very nice and some of these other ones we've spoken about before as well so if you want to grab any of those you can do they are over on the pm store plus the fact don't forget we spoke uh, on the uh, tuesday show pm's got loads of restock comes in we've got restocks of paint and weathering products and obviously all the tools and sundries you could ever want and obviously they have sent out invoices now for all the other bits and pieces like the pre-orders for the marauder the pre-orders has been sent out now i think as well for the b24 uh for the liberator the new airfix kit because i think that's due in either today or it's due in on monday as well so uh, that will be out to you next week so yes good good week this week don't forget you can go back catch any of the programs just pop over to florymodels.org click on vlog and you can go back and watch all those shows if you want to at your leisure Anyway, that's about it from me this week. Good week next week. Going to really enjoy next week as well because we're going to be carrying on with that and we're going to get really stuck into the Apache as well. So we'll have a lot of fun with that one. Hopefully you can join us along as always. Anyway, I'm going to leave you on Friday with our lovely gallery from the members. So until Monday, everybody, happy modelling. Take care. I was not ready to fall in like I'm wasted.